Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss the variation, which is the, I think it's the Form 5 chapter. I, I can't believe which chapter, I think it's chapter 5 or chapter 4. For Form 5, this is for Modern Max. Alright, so I just randomly choose one question from one of the reference books. Alright, okay, so for va variation, first you must understand what is the meaning for, what is the meaning for uh, varies directly or varies inversely. Okay, it's very directly, it's very directly, actually it's very simple. You imagine x is varies directly with y. So what you need to do is, you just make, you just make this symbol become equal, and then you add a k in front of y, and then you make a k in front of y. So what you will have is, x will equals to k y. And then of course, this k actually is the constant value. So you always need to find a constant value and then just put it back. This is the meaning for varies directly. Okay, this one is very di varies directly. If let's say x is varies inversely, when inversely means 1 over y. Okay, if for example, x is varies inversely of y. When you see the word inversary, always will give you, always will give you one over, one over y. Okay, so what you need to do is first step you have to change this symbol to equal, and then you have to add a k on the top. You can foresee here k is always on the top one. There's no condition k is on the bottom. There's no condition k is together with a denominator. K is always on the top, no matter it's directly or inversary. All right. I hope you can understand about this one. So when we change this symbol to equal, what will happen is so you got x will equals to k over y. So you can see k now is on the bottom and k is the constant. Alright. Then if you understand about this one, yeah, you, you can almost solve all the all the uh, variation questions so of course you have, have to understand what is the meaning for constant constant mean k is not the variable well variable is the number actually you can simply change to 30 you can change to 55 you can change to 100 1000 but constant mean the k will forever stay the same is k is 5 forever is 5 all right this is the meaning for constant okay let's okay let's solve this question okay Okay, let me just erase everything over here. Okay, come. Okay, it's given P varies directly as the square as the square root of R. Varies directly as the square root of R. So from here I can roughly understand is P is varies directly as the square root of R. Isn't it? This is square root of R. So P is varies directly, yeah. If if this question he changed to P is varies inversely, if this is inversely he just changed to one over square root of R. Alright. I think not really hard. So first step is still the same. I make this symbol become equal and then I add a constant beside beside square root of R. Alright. So this is very important. If you got this one, I think you can got one mark from your exam. But then too bad this one only come out in paper one means it's MCQ question so yeah you, you know need to write the step All right then what's next is okay over here he give you the value for P and R you just substitute the, va the value into this equation just substitute the value into this equation so you got 30 will equals to K we do not know we have to find K and then we know R actually equals to 25 Yes, so you just solve this one. Square root of 35 is very easy. It will give you 5. So 30 will equal to 5k. So k will equal to 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Okay, once you get k, immediately you substitute back to this equation. Then you can got the correct answer. So I'm going to substitute my k back to this, this equation. So what I got is p will equal to 6 square root of r. This means 6 is a constant. Okay, because P and R is still changeable, it's still a variable, only 6 is cannot change. So what I do next is, because he asks you to, he asks you to calculate the values of R, 
Meaning he asks you to find R when P equal to 54. So I'm going to substitute P equal to 54 over here. So we just solve the simple algebra, we can get the correct answer. So square root of R will equal to 54 divided by 6. So 54 divided by 6 will give us 9. Alright, this one you just simplified, you have got 9 and 1. So square root of R equals to 9. So R will equal to, okay, you know, solve the square root, you mean you have to square both sides. Or some student just understand something like this. You move the square root to the other side, it becomes square. It's the same thing. Alright? So you just simplify square and square root. You got R equals to 81. So this one is your correct answer. So I hope this video can roughly give you some ideas about what, what is variation and how to solve this one. Because in SBM Paper 1 Modern Max, at least you have 2 to 3 questions for variation. So I think this is one of the easiest and important chapter for SBM students. Thanks for the video.